Mason, do you want me to let you reel some in? Get nice little fillets off of those. Doesn't get much better eating than that right there. Our microwave does a very, very good job. Not a huge mess like frying fish. A minute and a half or a minute 45 in the microwave. We're good to go. I guess we'll go up the other end just because the wind's blowing. Not a big one, but... Uh... There we go. Now they're just decent crappie. Just like that. There's a, here's a good one here. This is the crappie. Oh yeah. There's a good one. It's a beautiful crappie right there. Probably about 11 inch crappie. Great eating. Another nice crappie. Another good one. Not a big one, but a keeper size. Don't throw my minnow off. Another one. So the other thing that's neat about crappie fishing too, if you have kids that don't get to catch a lot of fish, a lot of times you can get them on the line and then let them reel them in. Mason, do you want me to let you reel some in? I'm catching my own, thank you very much. There we go. Another good crappie. So we had a great day out crappie fishing, caught a lot of crappie. Now it's time to uh, fillet these things up and then I'm gonna share with you guys a quick little, quick way to make a meal out of them. But guys, I don't know about you, I hate cleaning fish outside when it's super hot, the bugs are bad and all that. I'll tell you what, if you have a good marriage and you bargain with your wife, you can actually get away with cleaning your crappie right here in the kitchen. And let me tell you what the first secret is, is newspaper. Newspaper is your friend right here. Use plenty of newspaper. Fish do not smell when they're fresh. If they're on ice, they don't smell, so it's not a bad, messy thing and all that. Newspaper's your friend. So we're gonna, you know, we got our bucket of fish here. We got our bucket for the, for the scraps right here. So uh, Mason and I, my son Mason here, we've got a pretty good little system here. So I fillet, he ribs. So we're gonna knock through these crappie pretty quickly. Then we're gonna show you how to cook them up. So one, one of the big things with, with uh, fish I found is put them on ice. If you're gonna eat fish, the best way, you know, you can put them in a live well or something like that, but uh, we found that you put them on ice and the, the fillets are good and firm. The fish aren't as nasty and slimy and they don't tend to go bad. Here's something to remember, if you've had fish that have been dead for a while or whatever, is you can see on this crappie right here, these gills, are nice and red and I've always been told as long as the gills are nice and red that fish is fresh and that's something to remember so if you have fish that uh, let's say let's say you kept it on a stringer overnight or a fish basket or something like that and you come out and that fish has died so you don't know if that fish is fresh or not you can always tell by the gills if the gills get white and nasty looking I've heard that that's not fish that you want to use I don't ever get to that point so but just something to remember if you do get in into those situations, but that's the biggest thing is to keep the fish on ice and they'll stay pretty fresh. So well, like I said, we work through these, we ice away, and then Mason cuts the ribs out of them. And then we'll put these things in, uh, we'll rinse them off, put them in a Ziploc bag, and then I'll share, I'll share with you my secret. I'm gonna show you guys quickly how I fillet a crappie. I've got these really nice thin uh, electric knife blades here found that's really good on uh, pan fish like this but you just take the take your fish hold it kind of right in the gills take that fillet knife right up, right up underneath the fin go in at about a 45 degree angle and then you turn and just kind of hold that knife at an angle and go right along that uh, backbone go along stop right when you get maybe an eighth of an inch from the tail flip that over there's your nice pretty fillet all we're going to do is hold that down at a 45 degree angle Cut that off, and now you're ready to rib, and that's where you just cut the ribs out. And uh, this is where we use it as a teamwork. Mason will uh, 
Mason will cut the ribs out of there now, but uh, doesn't get much fresher than that. So the whole key with when you're ribbing like this is you want to get the meat as close to ready for, the, for when you're going to cook it as you can. So you go cut it right along the ribs, follow it down, cut right across there so you're getting all the good meat with no bones in it and you throw the ribs away. So when it's time to come and cook it, that's that meat's pretty much ready to go. You just need to rinse it off real quick and you're good. That's just, it makes everything much easier later on. Doesn't get much better eating than that right there. That is a beautiful filet. All right, so we got, uh, got done cleaning our crappie. We got a nice big uh, fresh bag of filets here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our, our filets and uh, just depends on your appetite. I'm hungry, but uh, just rinse them off a little bit. Set them on a paper towel. So all I'm doing is rinsing these off, getting them good and clean. And we're gonna put them on these paper towels and then we'll dry them off. So I washed the fillets off good. And now I'm just gonna put the paper towel on them and we just wanna dry them off good. Just get the water, as much water as we can off of them. Put them up here. There's been many a times we've been at a tournament on a smallmouth fisher or whatever, catch one or two walleye or, or some big perch up north come in, you know, you can fillet them. It's just a great way to make a quick meal as well. All right, everything's better with butter. So we're just gonna take some butter. And guys, this is something, this is, my, my dad came up with this recipe, I don't know, however many thousands of years microwaves were around when they first came out. So we started doing this early, early on, and uh, I'm sure there's way more creative cooks out there than than myself, so, uh, but it's just a, one of those things I think a lot of people don't realize that uh, our microwave does a very, very good job fixing fish. We got butter on there, a little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. You can put other spices on them, whatever you want, but uh, we're just gonna do butter and salt and pepper on them. Paper towel, very important, because things like to blow up in the microwave. And uh, you gotta test your microwave. The old microwave we had, we'd do it for about three minutes. We got a brand new microwave, and believe it or not, it takes about a minute, 45 seconds. Cook time, let's do a minute 30, just to see. Start. All right, so now we'll wait a minute 30. We had it in there for a minute and a half, so we'll pull it out here, we'll check it. I'm gonna guess we're gonna have to put it in there a tad bit longer. Ooh, that, uh, that looks pretty done. I mean, you can see it's all white and flaky. So here's a little trick I do too. We'll prop it up on the side. So we've kind of let that drain now a little bit. So we're gonna take this paper towel. Get that out of there. So you can see that's super, super flaky. There's no, it's done. That's ready to eat. That is fresh eating. Not a huge mess like frying fish. A minute and a half or a minute 45 in the microwave. We're good to go. So there you have it. Caught, cleaned, and now cooked. Now it's time to eat.